<laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be the Mega Man. Alright. Or can we be Batman in this game? That would be pretty awesome. Which Bane? Here Batman. comes the Bane. Let's see how my luck fares on the stage. And the beast loose. That's gonna go out there. Though. All right. All right. I'm on a roll, roll, rolling. I just love this music. I know I'm gonna keep on saying it over again, but let's face it, Mega Man series has probably some of the best tunes of all time. And this is coming from a guy that is a big time Castlevania fan, and I would also put Castlevania tunes way up there as well, but... You can just still bang your head to this. And I was playing Sunset Overdrive the other day, and you guys know that. And that has some banging tunes too, but... Yeah, like great tunes. I like the, like, I don't know if it's the main title song, to be honest, but the song that goes, Sunset City! It's, I know it's not, like, the most original punkish song, but it really does get me all just energized to kill more of those crazy odd mutants. Right. I get hit by the blacks. Energized like a uh, Star Trek um, uh, transporter? Energized. Number two? Oh, great. Those UFO things. Oh, what the fudge! <laughs> I thought I was a home clear. Yes, that's cheap. Did I, did I really hit that spike? I mean, the good thing about Twitch is it kind of captures your play. I could just pause and zoom in and analyze every pixel and challenge the play and throw down the flag. Throw it down. Oh, the, the, the fish is dead. Well, the fish would be there. So you have to be really easy about pressing the A button here. Right. My thing is just kind of avoid these guys. Right. Good thing they don't take too much energy. They're just more of a nuisance. Now this is where I got hit. At least they don't like bounce you. That would suck. God. Sunday fun day like Bible Ventures. Okay, here we go. I would like to get Bible Ventures. I think that would be fun if we did a worse game with Don Brian. That idea actually great. really like. I think that'd be really fun. Oh yeah. We, we totally. want to do a Rarathon number two, and we do want to do a Mortal Kombat thon before Mortal Kombat comes out. We have that stuff listed as our upcoming marathons. Yes. But I would I think a worse game thon would be awesome. Oh yes. For all the wrong reasons. This guy's recurgitating his babies for me to kill him. They're babies! <laughs> Why they have to be babies? <laughs> oh Tim. Yeah, Tim proposed something. I hope uh, I'm not gonna say this like we're committing to it, but Tim proposed us possibly playing the order from start to finish. I hope that will happen, and I want to see if you guys would like to see us play the order uh, in the future. I'm, I'm not saying it's happening right. quite yet, but want to see if there's interest. interest. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea or just a really stupid idea. <laughs> what if it was like the spoof of the order, and it was like the order? I'll take a. The, who comes before this guy? Uh, metal? Metal Man, so they're probably saying that because you can use the metal power against them, it'd be most effective. Because it's like rock, paper, scissors with these bosses, you have to figure out which other boss's power is most effective against the boss. Yeah, it says... Fighting. So, if it has it like that, my guess is... an instant kill with Metal Man weapon. Seems it's shaved a lot of his life, the only yeah. thing is I'm just not... There you go. Yep. See, and that's the trick to Mega Man. You have to find out what powers work against who. Right. Because if I was just going to do normal Mega Man, that would have been a much more involved fight. Yeah. Maybe even using an E can. Yeah, that's right. So let's see that Demon Child again. Gotta love the Demon Child. I love Mega Man, though. I love him like a son. B! <laughs> Bubble Lad. Okay. Bubble Lad. He's is basically that even feasible. He's is that like, even feasible in terms of water to have a solid like that with 
with that oxygen pocket. He's a little boy. They keep injecting him with all these poisons. They're like, let's see what else we can give him and see if it doesn't kill him. Dr. Light's more like Dr. Evil. Yes. Dr. Wily is like the most sane one. He's like, I'm trying to free the humanity from robots. Yeah. Is, uh, he yeah. looks like he looks like Scott Brown. Dr. Wily could be Scott he, Brown he very in this well universe. Be. Yeah. We were mentioning before, this is kind of pre-show, that this game says that it takes place in 200X. This one. It does not say 20XX. The title to this says 200X. So apparently, this stuff already happened. It did. About five years ago. or, or Somewhere in the last uh, 2001 or 2000 to... 2010. Alright, so let's go with our next one here. Um, I've got two different ones. After... Which one did you just do? I just did... Uh, Metal? Bubble Man. Bubble Man. After Bubble... Somebody says Flash, and the other one says oh, okay. Flash. Okay, and after, well, and after that comes Heat Man. Let's do Quick Man. Okay, Quick Man. I don't think we really... There's another... Quick one Man. says Quick Man's next, the other one says Heat Man's next. Yeah. So what are you about to say before This one I says, um, use Bubble LED's, uh, thing at the end. Okay. Um... Yeah, this game could have happened in 2007. Anyway, we, really, we really could have had Mega Man fight off Dr. Wily. We could have had a Robo Apocalypse. Skynet. Maybe. Here's Did someone say Skynet? There's one time when I was a robot and I killed guys and I said, I'll be back. Arnold, that's Terminator. That's a movie. That was my life! And it's not your life, Arnold. It was a CG! Quit saying that! We're about to say Brian before. Uh, <laughs> I died. I died. <laughs> a thousand gone to heaven. Um, I died and got the Bible, but you king. What if those things, when they made this, this game came out, what, 87-ish? 88, somewhere around there? Yeah. Okay. What if those events were, through prophecy, supposed to occur? Uh-huh. But something between the years 1987 and 2000X X prevented that from occurring, so and so was, therefore it never occurred. Maybe so, like Mega Man went back to time and uh, yes. stopped those events. Because you did to, say he kind of looked like went back yeah. to 20XX. He kind of looked like Doc Brown a little bit, right? Maybe it so was Dr. Doc Wiley teamed up and stopped his old madness. Yes. Stop my first self, Great Scott. It's the secret episode of Back to the Future. We know that they uh, essentially discovered that in quantum physics, that those particles, quantum physics, they could go backwards in time and forwards. Unlike macro physics, where the rules say that you have to go forward in time. So they proved there's a possibility you can go back in time. So there you you're go. small enough scale. So it's possible. So it is possible. Are we going to have time travel in our lifetimes? No. Not in our lifetime. I don't, I don't. Well, we have a self-driving car. Yes. We do. We do have that being developed right now by Google and Sony invested in a company too. So and supposedly Apple's working on something too. Hmm. Have you heard about that? I, I would not be surprised if Apple did do that. They hired uh, some top tier. They drive. Names. They drive you to the Genius Bar and say buy more Apple products. <laughs> yes. I guess uh, they hired away some uh, Tesla uh, executives and stuff. Let's turn on the heat. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little man a child little... in there. <laughs> it's Tim. He man is Tim. Tim is stuck in a, in a lighter can. This is actually, we're fighting Tim right now. If you don't know what Tim looks like, check out uh, Tim and Jim. <laughs> That's a neat way to advertise our videos right there. Yeah. This looks like that. No, watch our videos. No, but seriously, uh, yeah, it looks like Tim's in a, a lighter container. I'm going to fight Tim. <laughs> Tim! <laughs> you know what would be a great Comic Con gift? Mega Man. Yes, it might not be a hard gift to uh, uh, cost him to do. I saw a couple of big names have been named for uh, Comic Con here. And I died. What were what the big names? Uh, Alice, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, Alicia Keys? No, Alyssa. In New York! The chick from uh, American Pie and How I Met Your Mother. The red hair. Oh, that girl? I mean, yeah. The attractive redhead girl? Yes. <laughs> Future Mrs. Ned, Ned Flanders would like to see an HD remake of Bible Adventures. 
<laughs> that is going to be done. I'm going to make that game. In Dragon Ball? When, when we spawn off the site into a game development site and we make it a uh, Red Butter Japanese Entertainment, that'll yes. be our first project. Uh, and then, uh, 2020. Dragon said they already have a car that parallel parks itself. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of impressive. I've seen some of like the Lex. Multiple Lexus. Lexi. See, see that. <laughs> Lexi. Lexor. <laughs> Luxor. I got to see the. I was uh, on, a, um, on my trip. I came back. I went through Vegas, and I had a layover there for like two hours. Did I ever tell you my Vegas story? No. I, I, I know. I mentioned you said you're in Vegas. You're at the airport. I said avoid Elvis. Yeah. There's a story to this. So, in my job, we have these meetings. These investigator meetings. You have to go to different places. My thing was in Vegas. I know I'm kind of filling this box because my I'm trying to do two things at once. Um, oh shit! Jump. Um, so, by saying jump, he jumps. This is a voice activated game. But anyway, I was in the Vegas airport, and I was with this, this lady, her name is Larissa, she's a cool girl. And we're, we, we had a layover with our luggage. We had to wait an hour for the next plane to come with our luggage. Uh -huh. Everyone else went to the airport, and here we are waiting for our luggage. Finally, the luggage came an hour later of us awkwardly trying to strike up a conversation. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm quite a ladies' man. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> You're like... <laughs> but um, um, so anyway, we were about to get our luggage, and this guy, Elvis, I guess, maybe the real Elvis, came out of nowhere. He comes up to us, and he's like, how's it going, bros? He goes up to Larissa, kisses her on the cheek, she freaks out, and then he pats me on the, sh on the shoulder, he's like, way to go there, buddy. He thought that we were a couple, and he macked up my supposed wife-slash-girlfriend right in front of me. That Elvis has fucking... Balls! All elf, I have balls. <laughs> oh, I have balls. <laughs> oh, I've been rocking with my balls, girl. That almost sounds like the Creed guy, actually. It wasn't all It wasn't. It wasn't. He wasn't dreaming of a blue Christmas. He was avoiding a blue ball. <laughs> 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 I'll never look at Elvis the same way again. No. Fucking purr. No. <laughs> you proposed it, oh, Ryan. Man. You went there. I just took it another step. Okay, so Ned Flanders asked if she was cute. Oh, Larissa? Oh, yeah, she's really cute. Okay, there you go. She actually is. She's actually really cute. But since uh, I work directly with her. In this environment, it probably would not be the smartest thing to yeah. to try to Mac. Um, yeah, so, um, Al Allison? Is that her name? Allison Hannigan? Oh, okay. Yeah, Allison. Actually, I'm not kidding. I, I recognize that name. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, she's going to be there. And there. You know, her, her husband, I didn't know her husband, who's also coming, was somebody on How I Met Your Mother. Holy f Fuck! I'm actually saying that due to that situation. Mm. So who's her husband? I, I okay. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't really seen too much How You Met Your Mother. I literally just saw the first two episodes and then I quit. I don't know. It's this guy. But he uh, he was okay. in. Um, He's kind of good looking. He was in, he was he played a, a one of the news anchors. I'll try it for a little bit. Yeah. Brian, yeah. you be Mega Man. Sure. Uh, you fight Tim in a lighter can. All right. And I'll try my best to impersonate Elvis and then talk about the Creed guy. Yeah, he was a, um, he was in that, um, in the show, he was Sandy Rivers. He was one of the, uh, news anchors. That was, okay. that's his thing. Oh. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting, here's Michael McDonald. I keep forgetting, I sound like the Creed guy when you do this shit. Hey, Michael McDonald. Hey, everybody. How you having Oh, you Yo, jerk! He bounced over. He's such a jerk. He's he's shaking his one fist. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are Jersey guys. They're doing the Jersey. He's Jersey pumping. They're the the robotic Jersey guys doing the Jersey fist bump. So they were from the future. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Straight out Jersey. And if you're from Jersey, I'm not. I, I don't hate you guys. No! Don't don't take it that way. Yeah. 
Why are you weird? This actually reminds me of something. Were, were you there when I played that one part with leeches yesterday at Sunset Overdrive? Yes. This is, reminds me of that. The lava pool? Yes. All we need is have Mega Man in his skitties and have him full of leeches and that would be pretty much...